Well, how y'all doing on today? Glory to God. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is blessed on today, praising and worshiping the Lord as we are over here. I tell you, even in this critical hour where the world is at panic and everything seems like there's no end and no answer, the Lord is with his people are you one of his? Hallelujah. I know you are because you're coming to find words from God. And words. his words are life to all them that find them. Glory to God. This is me, Apostle Dr. Esther Joy. And I am an humble servant of the living God. I, myself and Pastor Aaron. Uh, uh, just are just in worship and in praise. We are just thanking the Lord for being such a blessing, such a wonderful uh, present help. He is, somebody say present help. He is a present help. Is he present, Pastor? He's a present help. Glory to God. How many know that God, this did not take God by surprise. Nothing takes him by surprise. He is the God who goes before us. Remember this. He said, I would go before you and make the crooked places straight. See there, it could have been a lot worse if God was not already there before we got there. Somebody better pray. Some, I know somebody going to catch this. He got there before we did. And to ensure the place that we would be in at the given moment at that particular time. And this is the time and the season of the Most High Somebody. I am encouraged in my holy faith as I stay in praise and worship. That is my lifestyle. That's become my, my husband's lifestyle. We love to stay under praise and worship music. We love to just worship and lift our hands, lay before, and praise the King. My God, my God. This brings in the Holy Spirit of the living God. For we realize we have a great commission on our head, and it is this ministry. This ministry is not ours. You know, many people open up their ministries, and are they of God? Ministry, halaboshiki, is a great big word. Minist ministering to the people of God. We take it very serious what we're doing, for we're not trying to be cut off. Glory to God. You can't fool with God but so long. And so here at Kingdom Power, Ministries, I-N-T-L dot church, we take serious what we do for the Almighty God. For His truth is His shield, is our shield and our buckler. Hallelujah. So we want to walk in truth. We want to research these scriptures and we want to grow in knowledge so that we know what God is saying and what he's doing in the earth and what he requires from us. Let's go into praise and pray and and, and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, I go to my sick Oh, hallelujah, we praise you, we praise you, we praise your great and holy name, Master, most holy, most high, most beautiful God. There is nothing like you, none like you. Hallelujah to your glorious name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you are holy, Lord. Somebody praise him. You are holy, Lord. You are holy, and there's no one like you. Hallelujah, Bobo of us, and now, yes, Holy Spirit. You're so holy, God, creator of all things. And I worship you from the bottom of my heart. I, I just want to praise you, Lord, with everything in me. I want to praise you. You're the Holy God. Hallelujah. 
I feel his presence, Pastor. Hallelujah. Somebody help me praise my beautiful God. I know how sick I'm not a boss. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Welcome, Holy Spirit. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. How great thou art. How great. Tell you, you can hear a pin drop in this place. <laughs> Don't make me run. I tell you, the Holy Ghost, we need the Spirit of God to move. Hallelujah. Touch us right now. Touch everyone who would come in. Some out of curiosity, some who are already saved. Born again, belong to the Lord and filled with His Spirit. And the Lord will say, Whatever level touch them now, Holy Spirit, and let them know there's a God in the third heaven who reigns and who rules. Help me now as I decrease. Help Pastor as he decrease and I increase in this ministry. For I feel your presence and I long for even more. We need you. Hallelujah. How many feel the presence of God? <laughs> I told y'all, don't play with us over here, because we love the Lord. I share my heart and have tapped into that glory, somebody, glory to God. The Lord is excited about the season that we're in, somebody. And I tell you, we are coming for as gold, somebody. Glory to God. Ain't that something? And I tell you, I am excited. So this is what I want to stress to you. Don't let the hype distract you from what God is doing in the earth for his people. Remember, a thousand are falling outside, ten thousand at our right hand. But it shall not come, not us. Remember what God is doing and how he's going to do it. Everything he promised is on the table. Not only is it on the table, it is coming forth and it is habokosata, being manifested quickly. I heard the Lord said suddenly, the name of this telecast he gave me was all of a sudden. A sudden earthquake would come. And God took me to the Holy Scriptures as I was down looking. And it's just, I always research. And uh, I think Pastor was asking me some questions and things. And I said, I'm going to continue researching until I hear what God wants me to use. Get your Bibles. And, uh, and those of you who don't have it, write these scriptures down. This is the sword of the Spirit, somebody. And I am going to read what God has given me for this particular telecast. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, and we all know this, this, this scripture, God reiterates to everything. Somebody say everything. everything. There is a season. My coach say, say Corona got a season. Yes. Oppression, all the things that we've been through, being tested by God, trials, tribulation, malabaseke, enemies, all these things have a season. God said everything. He didn't let nothing out to everything. There is a season. That means there's a time that it can it can it, it that it can operate, that it can be perform. And a time for every purpose under the sun. You better hear me. It's even a time 
where the enemy can torment the people of God, who can hem up the people of God, who can uh, have his way even throughout the earth. There is only a season before the Lord steps in and brings an utter in somebody. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, which is what God wants every true Christian to understand this word over your life. And this is why I keep moving forward because I believe everything that he says. And somebody say, Apostle, you done tapped into God like I have never seen. But I trust every word that comes out of his mouth. And I go forward anyhow. Look at this. Yes. Jeremiah 29 verses 11. Thank you, Jesus. This says, for I know the plans I have for you. The enemy don't know. The government don't know. This one don't know. Your prayer partner knows some things, but only what the Holy Spirit can show them. God created you, called you forth. No matter how it was done, he says, I know the plans. While you looking here and there, God says, I know them. The plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope. Somebody better hear me. And a what? Future. Those plans have not changed. He has not changed the plans and the promises that he told you about uh, moving in your business in your ministry, in your calling, on your job, in your career. However, I would plant you in the earth. My Bible say, as my ambassador, God says, I know them plans that I have for you, you in particular. See, we different people. We on different, everybody got so We all making it go round. This is what makes the world work. Because what I do, you do, it all contributes to the human race. And what we do in this earth for God. I know them plans, he says. And nobody can stop the plans that I have for you. Nothing can stop the will of he who made us and called us for nothing. God says the plans are on the table. Now what you need to do is be ready. He says a hope and a future. Though God is saying this here. Pastor, you got that scripture open. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are, we are having study. I tell y'all, we getting ready for these weekly church services so y'all can be edified. But right now, the God wants you to understand this. Are you ready for what God is about to do? While you worrying about corona, God says, I'm coming through the back door. You looking out there, and here I'm sliding in up on you. Are you ready for your divine purpose? It's on the table, and it's coming in quick. Watch this. He says, plans to give you hope in the future, not depression and oppression. And then he says, you will come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Huh? Somebody, y'all, are you getting this? God ain't stopped being God, and his word have not stopped being quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. Somebody, it's life. And it's true. It's quick. And it's powerful. Glory to God. Now I'm going to read you because he wants me to go into the book. Pastor, can I borrow that Bible, please? Yes. And then uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I'm going to go to the book of Acts. You got it? Where you got it? Uh-huh. Thank God. Hallelujah. Go, bring your other one down here. Hallelujah. And the book of Acts 16. Glory to God. Verse 22 to 26, and we all know this word, glory to God, but I'm going to break this down for y'all the way the Holy Ghost broke it down to me. Somebody said, teach us apostle, because I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't ready. I'm telling you, but I'm sick, hey, huh? I tell you, folks going to be running around worrying about this, that, and the other, and you paying too much attention to the news. God say, just be diligent, keep yourself together, and and cover yourself when you go in and out hallelujah but be ready for the angel of the Lord because he is here and God is going to do some stuff for his people breakthrough has come look at this hallelujah it's in times like these when we got to uh, not be distracted by the strong man 
Strong man who, Apostle? The strong man called distraction. That's him. He there to throw you off. Now look at this here. In Acts chapter 16, what was that, Pastor? Um, we're talking about the book of uh, chapter 16, 22 through 26. Glory to God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I can't do nothing without you, and I don't want to. Glory to God. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrates rent off their clothes. Talking about Paul and Silas. And commanded to beat them. Y'all hear this. And when they laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison. Charging the jailer to keep them safely. And at midnight, somebody say midnight. midnight. Paul and Silas, they prayed. What did they do? They prayed. And sang praises unto God. They didn't let it worry them. They went to the throne. In prison, like we are. It bound. Anywhere you at, you bound. If you're not going forward, prison. What kind of prison? Spiritual prison? Real prison? Prison is prison. Yes, it is. God wants to spray. Look at this. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, this is what I want you to hear this word. Say it again with me. Suddenly, suddenly. there was a what? A great, what was there, Pastor? What happened? What was there suddenly? A great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Let's stop here right quick. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God says, we are inches away from that clock striking. And you're going to hear and see the earthquake of the living God that's going to shake the cage open. The spiritual walls, the walls of Jericho, Makosanda, the boundaries, the, 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 the barriers, the crossroad spirits, and every which way they got you. God says, I'm about to send the earthquake and set my people free. Look at this. Let's keep on reading. Hallelujah. We got just a little bit more to read. Let me get my trusty glass. Should I go? Yeah, I better go ahead on with this word. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read this word. Hallelujah. And it says, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. Not just an earthquake, y'all. We've got an earthquake down here. They say seven point this magnitude. This one was great. Oh, yes. Spiritual, supernatural. That the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, they say, and somebody say immediately. This is what I'm trying to get you to say. Come, come, on, grasp that word. On the other side of this is the immediately. God about to shake some cages. God about to shake something up. God about to part some seas. God about to tear down some walls of Jericho. God about to get some enemies. The eternal God is our refuge and underneath of the everlasting arm. He will thrust the enemy from before us saying, destroy them. Remember this. He says immediately all the doors were open. Ha! All of them. Every one of them doors the enemy got closed in our face. Every which way we can't get with our stuff and can't get forward and can't get the things that God says is on. It's going to be a suddenly of God. And he's about to send forth a great earthquake for the people of God. I said any moment, even this weekend, any moment. Look, immediately all the doors were open and everyone's what? Bands were loosed. What was it? What did everyone's bands was what, Pastor? Yes. Loosed. He said everyone's bands was loosed. Yes, it was. God coming after the gatekeeper, the Pharaoh somebody. He coming after whatever is standing in the way and holding up the blessing. What about Toshika? God ain't playing with this thing. God ain't studying Rona Kona and the rest of it. He is the Lord and he's going to send forth that sudden earthquake every which way we bound. We're going to be free unshackled. He said I'm going to send forth a suddenly 
And all of a sudden, there will be joy and laughter and the people yes. will be singing. What has the Lord done? Hallelujah. This was so great that even the keeper of the prison awakening out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, drew out of his sword and would have killed himself. See, supposing that the prisoners had been fled, been free, they fled. He thought he was in trouble. And Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Look at this, y'all. They could have been long gone. And then he called for a light and sprang in. And I tell you, and came trembling, fell down before Paul and Silas. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where you live. I don't know where you're at and how great a bondage you're in. But you, I shake it up. I, uh, the suddenly of God. The almighty way he is going to perform the breakthrough, the deliverance, the freedom. Somebody going to see it because they going to know you back when yeah. and going to know that who in the world is your God. Folk going to fall down and say, who is your God? I know you was bound. I know you was in trouble. I knew you all my life. I know this ain't you. They going to be afraid. Of the living God. Somebody say he's going to get some glory. God, glory to God. How many know the record of Jesus and, 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 and with Mary and with uh, 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 Martha? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, 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 and how they summoned for Jesus because Lazarus had died. Remember this. <laughs> And some people are, are, are thinking the same thing like they had. Is that oh, we here, Corona here, we bow in the house, and we got this, and we got that, and we can't do this, and we can't do that. And and, 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 and they said, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? If he hadn't been here, this wouldn't have happened, this, that, and the other. And I tell you, the Lord told me to tell you, and let's, let's just go over here to John 11, hallelujah, how great the master is. You got a, you got a moment, Pastor. We're going to go on over here to uh, John Hallelujah. Y'all get yep, yeah, y'all just come on to John. Hallelujah. And we just gonna get this thing clarified. Cause God said he done did this thing. My God, my God, my God. I'm so excited about this word. I don't know what to do. I'm eating this own this word up out of my own mouth. Cause these ain't my words. These are from the master. Washata. Thank you, Lord. In uh John chapter 11. Let's go here and let's put this uh, sword of the spirit on this on this video, on this broadcast. Look at God. He said, now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. You know, the same Mary, Mary Magdalene, which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Now Jesus loved him. See? And therefore his sister sent out to him and said, Lord, behold, to whom thou lovest is sick. Because Jesus loved him. When Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death. Yes. He's telling somebody right now, this ain't unto death. See, look at this. Why are you panicking in this time when I got a hold of this? You should be keeping your eyes on the real prize. It's of the deliverance of the destiny that God has prepared for you, bringing you out right here and right now to take you forward into something greater than you've ever known. Look at this. He says, when Jesus heard that, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Somebody say, God going to get some glory out of this. Now, let's go on down because we can't read the whole parable, the whole story, but this is true. See? And so, let's go over to verse 11. Yes. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Do, do you realize yes. what he's saying? You think that this is unto death. I done missed my calling. Lord, we hemmed up here in Corona. God, I wonder where we're going to do now. 
God said he was going to bring us out two months ago. God said this, that, and the other. Hallelujah. said, and some of y'all forget. See, the God, that, that, that grip of fear, that strong man of fear and distraction uh, get you thrown off from who you uh, uh, so tough. He will hit you so hard till you don't even believe God no more. Ooh, that was a word for somebody, Pastor. That thing went out into the airwaves. And you you start believing Satan. You don't even believe God. Jesus, help us right now. And look right here. Hallelujah. And then said unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I'm glad for you, your sakes. Jesus said that I was not there to the intent you may believe. In other words, I'm going to teach y'all a lesson about who I really am. Huh? Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Notice he wasn't panicking. He was in full control. He was God. And then said Thomas, which is uh, called Didymus unto his fellow disciples, let us go that we may die with him. Look at this. No, lost their faith walking with the master. The master with them. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Somebody say he was dead four days. Huh? Yes, sir. Master still didn't panic. Huh? Now, Bethany was nigh to Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs. Let's go on down because we want to read all this, but y'all know what's going on, huh? Yeah. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Because they was mad at him. You loved him. Why didn't you show up? He's been dead four days. He probably rotted and, and, and disintegrated and decomposed. Look at this. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection in the last day. Not thinking that this was the master. This was God in the flesh. Somebody look at here. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Now I want you to get this in your spirit. I am the resurrection and the life. Some of y'all coming out of your grave. You're coming out of bondage. You're coming out of sleep. You're coming out of that dead place, that dry place. You're coming up out of lack, unemployment. Ain't got no job. Ain't got no future. Ain't got no hope. You done got despondent. And the more the government puts on the news that Corona killing this one and that one, you're forgetting the testimony of God that said a thousand would fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it won't come nigh your house. It won't come near the pump house. I say, you're still alive and you're still breathing. And you got a hope and a future And you're not believing in the words of God This is the time that we hunker down And start listening to the, the words And the shata of the Bible and the scriptures Praise music all through the house Staying with the Lord Anointing the doorposts And declaring the glory and the power of the one Who created everything He did not panic because Lazarus was dead He ain't panicking because you hemmed up Yes. I'm going to keep preaching. Preach it on. Help me, help me to preach, preach Pastor. It, preach. And look at here. He says here in 26, and who, he that, be, in 25, he that believe in me, though were dead, yet shall he live. Yes. And whosoever liveth and believe in me shall never die. Mm -hmm. Believe thou this? Yeah. Do y'all hear me? I tell you, this is a powerful testimony. Hallelujah. He said, where have you laid him? Verse 34. John eleven thirty four, And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. They figure he's just going to break down because God is it's over with now. Because he's in the tomb. They done wrapped him up and everything. Wrapped him up and did all that stuff they do. And God, I don't know what else is. You, why didn't you come? And we're saying, why? where was you at, Lord? Jesus, therefore, he said he wept, and he saw, said the Jews, behold, how he loved him. Yes. And therefore, again, growing himself, coming to the grave. This is verse 38. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Yes. Jesus said, take away the stone. He's saying it to us right now. Me, you, my pastor, the believers, those of us who've been waiting for this great day, for the resurrection, the Joel 225. 
I will restore unto you all the years. The canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar ate Ezekiel. Yes, the dry bones can live. Yes, I will breathe life on you, and I'll put my spirit in you, and you shall live. I will, in the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, that God will quicken your mortal bodies, and you will rise again. Look at God. We're coming out of something. Don't you know deliverance means coming out of something? We're coming out of the graves. He's taking the grave clothes off, and he's never late. He's on time. Every place under the season, under the sun, has a time and a place. Now is the time of the living God to resurrect, breathe, life, restore, bless his people. Look at this. He says, hallelujah. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee that thou wouldest believe that thou should see the glory of God. Yeah. God going to get some glory out of this breakthrough. Y'all better hear me. And then he took away the stone from the place where, Jesus, where, where, the, where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Yes. And I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Somebody say, God going to get some glory out of my life. And he thus, when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound. Somebody say, I'm coming forth bound, hand and foot with my grave clothes on. My face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, loose him and let him. Him go. I don't know who Pharaoh is over you. I don't know who this person is running around thinking they greater than God, working all kind of black hearts, working all kind of mess, saying all kind of things against the people of God. God done got tired of your mess. And I cover me and my home with the fire of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus. But the Lord God says, I'm coming after some folk. I'm coming after some spirits. I'm coming after that which got my people handcuffed, tied up in the ankle shackle. I'm coming after Pharaoh. I'm coming after Jezebel. I'm coming after why they can't proceed forward. I don't care if it's a sea, walls. I don't know what it is. What it is. A, a, a curse. A altar. A throne. God said I'm going to break it because I'm calling my people forth say of the Lord. Yes. Come forth. Come up out of that grave. Yes. All of a sudden, when Paul and Silas prayed, the earthquake of God. Somebody say earthquake. 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 He shook the bars open. Yes, Lord. And this is what is happening. Get ready, you who are in this great deliverance. Everything is on the table. Yes. Finances, everything, your health, everything, my health, everything, everything we need, in the midst of the most dire circumstances, is coming about. For the great deliverer has come, and he's never late. And any time he shows up is the right time. You be ready. Because as I was riding yesterday, the Lord spoke to me. He said, Apostle, I'm going to do this thing right, but I'm going to do this thing so quick. Say it the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Like and subscribe, somebody. And you can sow into this word, sow into this ministry at www.kingdompowerministries, intl.com. Click yeah, donations. Y'all come on and help us out. It's time for the breaker's anointing. Get ready. Wash your face and get yourself up. God has done this. Deliverance is everywhere. Love you so much. Shalom.